The views and opinions expressed in this broadcast do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions of WGR Network. My brothers keep a show, I gotta let them know. Tuesday, 7 p.m., gotta let them know. 3M's meant to model, gotta multiply. God gets all the glory, hands in the sky. My brothers keep a show, I gotta let them know. Tuesday, 7 p.m., gotta let them know. 3M's meant to model, gotta multiply. God gets all the glory, hands in the sky. My brothers keep a show. Introduce the host. My brothers keep a show. Introduce the host, Pastor Dr. Michael Green. Are you hungry yet? Come on over to Peru's Chicken, where we're cooking up mouth-watering Peruvian-style dishes like quesadillas, tacos, burritos, yuca, arroz con mariscos, camarones a la parilla, charbroiled chicken, fresh salads, and so much more. Our friendly staff at both of our locations, Lanham at 9001 Annapolis Road in Lanham, Maryland, or Mitchellville at 12106 Central Avenue in Mitchellville, Maryland, we are ready to serve you. Just come on in. Y claro que sí, hablamos español. Peru's Chicken. Tengo hambre? Is he, is, is he ready? He's doing the commercials now. Oh, snap. Be ready. 10 uh. seconds. Oh. It's red now, Doc. Be blue in a minute. Hmm. How about that? Hmm. Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to the greatest show on this side of greatness. Of course, we know it is My Brother's Keeper, where greater men continue to make men great with a spirit of excellence. And of course, we do know it's a Tony the Tiger, terrific Tuesday, and of course, we're making it great. Sitting alongside me tonight is the presiding elder of the Washington, Virginia District and the Philadelphia District, and the Philadelphia District. Yes, <laughs> Reverend sir. Kevin J. Ag. Thank you so much for standing in tonight, sitting in alongside me tonight. My pleasure. Thanks for having Appreciate me once it. again. Appreciate it. Uh, you almost becoming a uh, constant fixture uh, around the house. So, uh, <clears throat> Dr. Champion, watch out there now. <laughs> I'm not trying to replace my friend, but uh, it's fun. I'm in my element. All right, all right I'm now. I'm having flashbacks, uh, <laughs> thinking back to the days of WMUC. All right. 6.30, I'm sorry, 6.50 a.m. and 88.1 FM College Park. Okay, he's ready to flashbacks. go. Ladies and gentlemen, he's ready to go. <laughs> he's ready to go. Just get the, uh, the uh, a football field right in front of him. Yeah, no, no football play-by-play -play tonight, though. I, I have to do one for the Ravens because uh, both the Redskins and Maryland are struggling. So I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a Ravens play-by-play. -play. <laughs> the Ravens are winning. And I'm going to digress on that one. Oh, they played they, they play a fabulous game, man. Yes, that, that Jackson's on... He's on it, man. That oh, young guy's on yeah. it, man. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, get some uh, housekeeping rules together right quick. I'd like to welcome uh, Dallas, uh, Fort Worth, San Antonio, Texas, Raleigh, uh, Durham, and Winston-Salem, North Carolina, New Jersey, mm -hmm. Maryland, and Washington, D.C. area. And we're going to travel over to the West Coast, Pomona, California, as well as Ontario, California. Mm -hmm. And welcoming uh, Bishop Jelani uh, Kefela, uh, under the Well, he's the presiding prelate over the Imani Christian Cathedral uh, Church. Uh, thank you for your support. And also Bishop James B. Walker, uh, presiding prelate over the 7th Episcopal District of the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. Uh, got a shout out and thank you, thank you so much for your continued support equally as well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the call in number uh, is 301 429 9247. 301 429 WBGR. And uh, if you uh, have Roku, please um, download the app as well as Fire Stick and Apple Television. If you have those devices, f please feel free to uh, download those um those uh what do you call those applications <laughs> those apps. Applica those apps, apps and uh, bring them on down and again um because i know that i was sharing with the audience i had an opportunity to watch the show 
on uh, Fire Stick um, a few weeks ago, and the show was simply, I mean, the definition mm. as well was just simply uh, phenomenal. All right. And uh, so, again, I definitely encourage uh, people to go and definitely uh, watch uh, the show on the big screen mm -hmm. and allow us access it to your homes. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of, you know, turn the volume up and down and all that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. Definitely uh, a good thing to have. Yes, sir. Okay. Stick is nice. All right. And also, we definitely encourage you to go to uh, www.mybrotherskeeper.org for community events and news that you can use mm -hmm. uh, in the area. And definitely um, just um, like and share. Leave a comment that you were there. Mm -hmm. So tonight, what we're going to do, uh, Presiding Elder, we're going to talk about thankfulness. Uh, all right. How about that? How about that? Uh, Psalm 100 uh, and verse 4, enter his gates with thanksgiving mm -hmm. and his courts with praise. Mm -hmm. Give thanks to him mm -hmm. and praise his praise name. His name. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. I tell you, man, when I, when I think about the thankfulness, and um, I put up there um, earlier, uh, what are you thankful for? Mm -hmm. And um, at this point, um, if our... Our producer have some of those um, uh, comments of uh, the people being thankful of some of their requests. Um, you don't at this moment? Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's do this then. Mm -hmm. I think I have, um, <laughs> okay, I think I have a few of them um, All right. that w people have put on there. Um, Brother Vernell Hill, he said he's thankful for health. Um, Sister Wanda Briscoe, she said she's uh, thankful for life, family, friends, and a sound mind. Amen. Wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, Songbird up in Buffalo, New York, uh, Mother Yvonne Patterson mm -hmm. says that the Lord save me. That Come the Lord save me. Come yeah. on. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, <laughs> yes, it will. Uh, Tanya Thompson, life, health, strength, my family, and my business. Mm -hmm. And uh, Brother Wisdom B. Rahim, Uncle Bill, the reward of his mercy. Come Good God Almighty. They, they, mm. get, they getting uh, up there now, Brother. Uh, Sister Marnita uh, Marshall, being in my right mind and my health and strength. Mm -hmm. Sister Carol Young, life, health, and family. Mm -hmm. And Donna Butterflies Brown, everything. Uh, Sister Maddie Hamber up in Connecticut. Phillips, uh, that the Lord didn't love me at my worst, that the Lord loved me at my worst, yes, picked me up and turned my life around. Don't you see? And now we got this brother, um, uh, New Diamond Young. He said he's uh, thankful for guns. Mm. So, yeah, we have uh, we have it from uh, one end of the spectrum to the next. But definitely we have um, a lot of um, uh, very powerful um, thank thankfulness, mm -hmm. uh, life and health and uh, family, friends, sound mind, mm -hmm. um, family and uh, her business, uh, mm -hmm. Sister Thompson. Mm -hmm. uh, Presiding Eld, I'm going to put you on the spot. What okay. are you thankful for? Oh, that's that's an easy question Come on, to Doug. answer. Um, and, and really... When you think of what many of the folks have said already, mm -hmm. a number of those things I can co-sign. Now, I don't own my own business, uh, nor do I own a gun. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, when you start talking about life, health, strength, family, God's grace, God's mercy, mm -hmm. uh, the gift of salvation, mm -hmm. you know, God loving me when I was at my worst. My worst. As well as loving Woo! me. Best. I mean, I can resonate yes. Yes, sir. and co-sign with everything mm -hmm. everybody said uh, and while i don't own my own business i'm thankful for gainful employment mm -hmm. even though i have three ministries now instead of two <laughs> but I'm, I'm thankful for gainful employment. amen amen i mean all of the above you know mm -hmm. wife family kids you know parents siblings etc immediate family extended amen. family friends who are just like family but as i think about it um you know, first and foremost, I'm thankful because of God's grace and mercy. We're My not God. for God's My grace God. and mercy. Amen. We wouldn't, Amen. Anything. We would, we wouldn't even exist mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. God's grace. Uh, more practically and more specifically, in addition to everything that uh, our friends have uh, shared with us uh, via various forms of electronic media, Amen. was probably most practical. Uh, being a presiding elder who now superintends two presiding elders districts instead of one. Whew. Uh, traveling mercy. Praying, praying for you, Dan. Anytime praying for you. you go from point A to point yes, sir. B, yes, sir. Is a reason yes, sir. to be thankful. Yes, sir. And uh, even before I got the um, added responsibility that I have now in terms mm -hmm. of my travel, mm -hmm. um, 
I, I know I've probably driven over a million miles in the years that I've been uh, that I've been driving. So every time wow. the Lord allows me to drive mm. safely up and down the highway, yes, sir. it's a blessing. Yes, sir. And um, even on my home district, um, mm. the Washington Virginia district, I mean, not not counting the times I go to Philadelphia district, but just travel on my district. Mm -hmm. I got to travel to get anywhere. Yes, sir. I mean, your yes, home sir. church, yes, sir. You know, St. John C. and me. That's mm -hmm. about the church, the closest church to my home. Yes. And it. You know, on a good day, non-rush hour, it takes 40 minutes to get there. And mm. you don't always have to be on the highway <laughs> yeah. to get in a wreck. Yeah. And I mean, I don't yeah. know how many times I've passed accidents, the times I've traveled in inclement weather, and I've mm -hmm. seen folk go off the side of the road. Yes. Um, to God be the glory uh, mm -hmm. for all the times that he allowed us to make it safely from point A to point B. Um, right mind. I yes. mean, I, I can definitely resonate yes. with yes. that. Yes. And I, I've, I've, I've told a number of folk, I mean, I can't imagine what it's like, you know, not to be in your right mind. I mean, if you know who you are, where you are, who your family, friends, and loved ones are, that mm -hmm. is truly, 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 truly uh, something to be uh, thankful and grateful for. And on the same line of uh, being thankful uh, mm. for uh, safe travels, um, I'm yeah, thankful for awesome. the physical strength to be yes. able to travel. Yes, yes. So as, uh, I was saying earlier today, it really amazes me. Mm -hmm how many people when i got the extra assignment at mm -hmm. the annual conference it, it really amazed me how many of my friends were really concerned i won't use the word worried because mm -hmm. uh, most of my friends have faith i won't say they were worried but very deeply concerned yes. i mean it just mm -hmm. amazes me how many of my friends Amen. are very Amen. deeply concerned about me but i gotta let them i'm all right mm -hmm. you know because i think the Praise lord God. has helped me Praise find God. a system Yes. It's going to work for me mm -hmm. to kind mm -hmm. of, you know, minimize things, help me work smart instead of hard. Mm -hmm. But I just thank God for, you know, the energy and the physical mm -hmm. strength to be able to do the work. I tell you. That God and the bishop <laughs> yeah. have uh, seen fit to assign to my hands. God is an awesome God. Ah, come on. God is an awesome God. Yes, when you sir. think about it, they, we all have far too many things to be thankful mm -hmm. and grateful for than any of us could ever articulate mm -hmm. within the uh, time constraints of uh, our broadcast this evening. Yes, sir. God is awesome. Yeah. I'm just thankful. Yeah, I mean, definitely, um, it, it, that goes without saying, mm -hmm. his, his grace and his mercy. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm most thankful for him loving me, uh, as Sister Maddie Hamber said, mm -hmm. at my worst. Yes, sir. He, he yet commended his love towards me, mm -hmm. yet while I was a mess. Yes, sir. And he still loved me. Sound and, like you're going to preach. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you're you going to preach from Romans 5. <laughs> you know, that, while we were yet sinners. While we were yet sinners. <laughs> you know, it, while we were still in the mud. While we were still in the mud. Muck and muck. I ain't going to go to Psalm 40 now. The muck and the muck. Yes, right? yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, and that's a, it's a powerful piece when, when we really experience mm -hmm. that love. And until we experience that, that God encounter, mm -hmm. um, it's just we just go through the, the, the stages of mm -hmm. just going through stages of life. But mm -hmm. once that God encounter happens, mm -hmm. we got to stand back and, and mm -hmm. take a step back and look at it from a place of love mm -hmm. from how God loved us. And, and that makes us uh, more loving because mm -hmm. we realize how unlovable we were. Lord have mercy. So then now we now are able to love people more mm -hmm. and you know beyond themselves as well absolutely you know so we i'm should. thankful for that we should the beatitudes mm -hmm. uh, in the beatitudes jesus said blessed are the merciful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for they shall obtain mercy come on amen and i need some mercy i need, mercy too. We all need, <laughs> I need some mercy sometimes we forget i mean just because we've been saved and mm -hmm. sanctified and Mm -hmm. Filled by the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. those of us who profess that belief, mm. just because just because we've been redeemed by God's grace, that doesn't mean we have it all together. Well, that does not well, mean we don't fall short every now and then. We all fall short so, every now so, and then. So, we don't so stop needing. You said thank you for the trials and the challenges that you yet face right now. And it's interesting you said that. Um, it's amazing. It must, it must it must be the spirit of the Lord, <laughs> or if not mental telepathy. But I was actually thinking. You know, when you start when you start talking about um, talking about the depth of faith, mm -hmm. you know, we gotta we gotta learn have how to have a praise in our pain too. You know, we we gotta we gotta learn that even when we're going uh -oh. through, uh -oh. we still have much mm. to be thankful for. And you know, for some reason, the um, 
the Hawkins Singers uh, mm. version of Be Grateful mm. is on my mind. Come on, come uh, on, God. As a matter of fact, it was immortalized again in the movie uh, Black Nativity mm -hmm. with, uh, with with uh, Forrest Whitaker yes, and Jennifer Hudson. Mm -hmm. God has not promised me sunshine. Mm -hmm. That's not the way it's going come to on, be. Doc. But a little rain mixed with God's sunshine, dun, dun. a little pain, dun, dun. helps me appreciate dun. the good times. Dun, dun. God decided to feel your longing. Mm. Every pain that you feel, yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> he sir. feels them yes, just sir. like you, yes, sir. but he cares too much to let yeah. you feel yeah. only good. Mm. Then you can appreciate mm. the good times. Mm. So I'm just thinking about that. Be grateful. Yes, sir. So yes, even sir. when we're going through, mm -hmm. even when the storms wow. of life are raging, wow. even in the midst of trials and tribulations, even when we're dazed and confused, mm -hmm. even when it seems like we're between a rock mm -hmm. and a hard place, mm -hmm. we still have much to be thankful and grateful for. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many of our preachers mm -hmm. you know, follow the lectionary series, but the um, I'm sorry, the Old Testament lectionary reading last week was uh, was um, was Job, you know, from mm -hmm. Job. It was from Job okay. 19. Um, I know I know my Redeemer lives. I know my but Redeemer. But when you when you, think, when you think about Job. Mm -hmm. You can't help but go back to chapter one, you know, when he for when all the tragedies befell him, you know, when 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 all the livestock, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when all the livestock were was stolen and the, and all the sheep were killed and mm -hmm. all the servants mm -hmm. were killed, mm -hmm. all his all his all his uh, children were killed in the midst of all of that. Yeah, how did Job respond? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, he, yeah. He tore his robe. Uh huh. He shaved his head. Uh, he fell down on his knees. Mm, he fell down yes, and he sir. worshiped. Yes, yes. The naked I mm, came from yeah. my mother's womb. Naked I shall return. Hallelujah. The Lord gave. Ha. The Lord has taken away. Come Blessed on. be the name of the Lord. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, he sir. He had a hallelujah anyhow. Yes, sir. He had a praise in the midst mm. of his pain. Even in the midst of his sorrow and grief, still he found something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be thankful for. And we're all going to go through things. We're mm -hmm. all going to go through tribulation. Yes, sir. But that's really the depth of faith. I mean, it's easy to say hallelujah yeah. when everything is all right. It's easy <laughs> yeah. to say hallelujah yeah. when yeah. you got plenty of food on the table and yes, plenty sir. of money in the bank. Yes, and, sir. You know, the heat works yes, and, sir. And when it's like it is tonight. Mm -hmm. and, and the air conditioning works like, <laughs> yes, it, like, it, like when it's hot like it was a few days ago. On Sunday? Yeah. You know, hello, somebody. <laughs> but, but the bottom line is even when you're going through, mm -hmm. can you still praise God? Can mm -hmm. you still Thank mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Bless them uh, so, anyhow. So, so, so we, always, yeah. we always have something that's a, to be that's thankful a, for. And I believe piece, that. Man. We that's always have piece. something. Yeah. We always have something yeah. to be thankful. Hallelujah. Grateful. You know, um, it's always important to have an attitude of gratitude. Yes, sir. Because that helps us to move in life to appreciate a healthy, whole, mm -hmm. a healthy, whole, and healed life. Mm -hmm. So um, even in a space of... Um, Romans eight twenty eight. Yes, sir. All things working together oh, for favorite. the good. Yes, sir. But those that are called according to his purpose, yes, sir. they're still going to work together for his good. Absolutely. So in that space right there, mm -hmm. can you give me something mm -hmm. that uh, uh, that it was a challenge, mm -hmm. but you overcame the challenge and mm -hmm. it was a blessing? Mm -hmm. Well, I won't. I won't go so far to say it was a blessing. Well, but I do. I do have an illustration. Of, okay. Something to be thankful for Amen. in one of the worst things that's ever happened. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, when my, my mom passed away, it's been it's been ten years uh, now since my mom passed away mm -hmm. from uh, complications due to her uh, dementia. Okay, and you know, in in the midst of that, um, in the midst of that, um, and anybody who knows anything about my family knows that, you know, basically beside the Lord. My mom had two loves next to God. Mm -hmm. That was my grandmother and mm -hmm. me. Okay. And uh, you know when my mom was uh, when my mom's dementia started progressing mm -hmm. rapidly. Uh, first she forgot who our sons were. Mm -hmm. Then she forgot who my wife was, mm -hmm. and eventually she even forgot who I was. Mm -hmm. But you know even in the midst of that, there was a time when my mom was uh, in the end stages of her life. She had not been verbal for about a month. Mm -hmm. And it had been probably about a month and a half, maybe two months, since she last recognized, you know, who I was. Okay. And because she died the day after my birthday is December 20th, mm -hmm. and she died the day after Christmas okay. in 2009. And my wife and I, my wife Gwen and I went to visit her this day in a nursing home. And, uh, you know, and Gwen said, we got we to go. 
get Kevin a birthday present. Don't you want to come? Come on. And she actually rose up in the bed. Mm. And then, and she hadn't really done too much like mm. moving around. She rose up in the bed. Either the next day or two days later, you know, I had gone back to see. That time I went by myself. And when I left, I told her I love you. And she said, I love you too. So the Lord let my mom recognize me again mm. and speak to me again after she had been nonverbal for more than mm -hmm. a month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before she mm. made her transition mm. from from labor to reward. Come on. And, you know, in that, you Can know, I had tremendous support. Mm. You mm -hmm. know, my wife, you know, she helped me, you know, with that. And uh, and, and, and and of course, mm. you know, when you know, when my mother in law was incapacitated, then of course, mm. you know, we we reversed and you know, I was able to support mm -hmm. her, you know, mm -hmm. when my mother in law was going through. But I mean just, you know, tremendous loving support of mm -hmm. my wife through all of that. The fact that God allowed my mother to have a lucid moment where mm -hmm. she could recognize me again Amen. and allowed her to be verbal after she had been nonverbal. Amen. And, Amen. you know, despite everything wow. she went through, the way that we transitioned her is um, I actually had a friend, you know, who was also a pastor, mm -hmm. um, Bishop Smiley's his name, Bishop Jimmy Smiley. He also worked, you know, with one of the undertakers up in Syracuse as, as funeral director. So when, when he found out what was going on, he actually he actually called called me. And the way the way the way my mother made her transition, she breathed her life, her last rather, with Bishop Smiley and I singing some of her favorite hymns as as she made her transition mm -hmm. from labor to reward. So Amen. you know, Amen. God saw fit that we were able to, you know, sing her out of here, Amen. you know, the way she would if there's any way she would have wanted to go, it would have been, you know, with her son by her side, you know, since since mm -hmm. her mother had already made her transition from uh, from labor to reward and uh, you know god that's, just that's really blessings. was with us that's you know blessings. through that so even even through that mm -hmm. you know even through that one of the most difficult things i've had to do in my life still there was something in that even to be thankful mm -hmm. for you know amen amen mm -hmm. to know that he is a healer Amen. Yes, indeed. Hallelujah. And, and that's comforter. a blessing. Ah, yeah. comforter. And a Hallelujah. Comforter. Can't mm -hmm. can't forget that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Um, they're still rack racking in, man. They racking in. Mm -hmm. Um, Sister Donna Pollard says, uh, God's grace and mercy mm -hmm. over me and my family. Mm -hmm. Um, Lorene, uh, Chavis, life and family and friends. Mm -hmm. Um, Alfred Richard Doss, another day, family, friends. Amen. Uh, Brother Jamal Brooks, uh, life, my family, friends, and my son. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister R. Faye McGee, uh, God, Jesus, family, and friends. Hallelujah. Uh, Brother Naeem, uh, my friends. And uh, Reverend Don McGee, mm -hmm. uh, life. Hallelujah. It can be taken easier than our human minds want to accept. Come on now. Woo! And Crystal Williams, uh, that I'm alive and in my right mind. Hmm. Somebody didn't make it. Mm -hmm. Good God Almighty, that's that's that's, so that's some serious stuff right there. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing that I would say is that um, <clears throat> I have that question um, uh, put to me in a sense of um, what is something uh, a challenge that you face that you mm -hmm. uh, on on the other side you didn't mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. um, how you would make it or what would happen, mm -hmm. but with that in mind, I would say that uh, I too, when I lost my my brother, mm -hmm. um, it was a hard piece because at the time of um, uh, when I lost him, um, we we um, had just gotten back uh, in fellowship. I mean, real fellowship mm -hmm. where we were able to really uh, communicate and um, um, share our love to mm -hmm. say, you know, I love you, little mm -hmm. brother. I love you, big brother. Mm -hmm. and, and genuine, mm -hmm. authentic love. Yes. And uh, that's something that he never shared with me. Mm -hmm. And um, I never shared that with him. Mm -hmm. And so through all of that, um, uh, within 30 days, and then he went on to be with the Lord mm -hmm. um, after uh, that 30 days. So God did in 30 days what he and I couldn't get together in over 30 years. Mm -hmm. And so through that 30-day uh, process, God has allowed me to, um, uh, what you see now, you on the radio show, mm -hmm. My Brother's Keeper. Mm -hmm. So what came mm -hmm. out of that is My Brother's Keeper. My Lord. And um, able to keep our brothers mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, be intentional um, mm -hmm. about whatever 
uh, challenges we face against each other, mm -hmm. it can be no greater than the love we share mm -hmm. uh, uh, within each other or with one another. Mm -hmm. And we have to be very careful how to, how we um, carry it because as, mm -hmm. as Reverend McGee said, uh, it, it's precious and it could be taken more than our human mind want to accept it. Absolutely. So we Absolutely. really want to be on point. So that's something mm -hmm. that I'm, I'm God thankful for the relationship Absolutely. Of, of my brother Amen. and um, what God did in 30 days. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Wanda Briscoe posted, I'm grateful that God kept my mind when my son was murdered my Lord. 11 months ago. My Lord. So it's about finding, mm -hmm. even in the mm -hmm. most negative situation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. something that Hallelujah. Absolutely. About. Hallelujah. And that is something to be Hallelujah. grateful for. I mean, how many, you know, how many moms would not be able to make mm -hmm. it through something like that. I mean, nobody plans to bury a child. That's not a part of anybody's plan, and mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. to have one's life taken forcibly, to have someone murdered. Yes. I mean, that's you know, that's that's that, that's that's beyond words. I mm -hmm. mean, nobody nobody could possibly uh, completely um, feel exactly what another person, another mm. mother feels going through that. You know, to lose a child, um, and you know, as I think about that. A number of things came to mind when you read Reverend McGee's quote about uh, about about how quickly life can be taken, mm -hmm. you know, uh, quicker than, than your mind can imagine. Mm. I, I was reminded of, of some of the words in the 39th Psalm when the psalmist, you know, asked the Lord to show me how fleeting mm. my life is. And, and as I as I think about that, and I know we're supposed to be dealing primarily with thankfulness as an overall theme, but, you know, as we wrestle with uh, the various uh, trials and tribulations that we go through, I just cannot help but think about how God can actually use some of the most uh, painful, mm -hmm. some of the most painful mm -hmm. experiences in Come our on. life Come on. to be able to help us yes, sir. to uh, be a blessing mm -hmm. to our brothers and our sisters. I'm reminded of the beginning of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the god of all consolation some translations say the god of all comfort the god of yes, co god of all consolation mm -hmm. and the father of mercies and how god comforts us so that we can comfort one another yes sir. with the same comfort yes, with sir. which yes, sir. we have been comforted mm -hmm. and and you think about what 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 tremendous things some people have been able to do even in the midst of their pain mm -hmm. uh, right mm -hmm. i mean we, we we're here in prince mm -hmm. george's county maryland mm -hmm. and y'all were teasing me you know about being a maryland alumnus because our, our football <laughs> team's not been about not so great right now but the basketball mm -hmm. team is great mm -hmm. but but you think back to dr lonise bias come on you know but you think to the mm -hmm. tragedy you know the tragedy of lenny bias mm -hmm. and then the tragedy of jay bias not too long afterwards yeah. you just yeah. look at how god has hallelujah used Dr. Lonis mm. to, to to bless you know so many thousands of yes. people you yes. know even in the midst of that that tragedy mm -hmm. of having both of her sons mm -hmm. you know have their lives taken from them mm. you know senselessly uh, tragically at, mm -hmm. at, ve at very young ages I think about some of the hymns of the church mm. that were written out of those situations I think about the father of traditional gospel mm. music mm. Dr. Thomas A. Dorsey about how you know he, he loses his wife. Mm -hmm. And childbirth and his come young baby. On, come on, come and on. In the midst of that, talk he, about he was it. Able to, he was able yes, to sir. say, Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I'm tired, mm. I'm weak, I'm worn through the storm, <laughs> through the night. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> Hello, sir. <somebody>. Man, you... <laughs> lead me on to the light. Take my hand, you Precious can start Lord. Up up lead in me here. home. I think about Horatio G. Spafford. Yes, sir. You know, businessman. Yes, sir. You know, the business started going real bad. He lost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You know, this was like back back when the economy dipped and mm -hmm. you know, he was you know, he, he he was he was taking care of some things and he was supposed to go on this, you know, this cross world boat trip mm -hmm. and you know, he sent his wife and his daughters ahead mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and the, all the daughters got killed at sea. Yeah. You know, the wife only survived in the midst of that. It was when he wrote, When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot whatever. thou hast taught me yes, to sir. say, yes, sir. it is well, yes, sir. it is well with my soul. And it's not I mean, contingent upon emotions. Things, yeah. And and that's the, I, I love those folk who make a distinction mm 
between mm-hmm. joy mm-hmm. and happiness. Mm-hmm. And uh, I didn't do the etymological study okay. on the words, but I, I, I like that <laughs> yes, distinction. Sir. Yes, sir. And, and, and the way folk make that distinction, happiness is contingent upon your external circumstances. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. You know the, the, yes, sir. Ha- happiness is contingent mm-hmm. upon various stimuli. Mm -hmm. But see, joy is not contingent upon external Mm -hmm. circumstances. Joy is not contingent upon upon stimuli. Mm -hmm. You know, joy is contingent Mm -hmm. upon what you have Mm -hmm. on the inside. So you can have chaos all around you and you can still have joy. You you can have sadness Mm -hmm. and pain, but you can still have joy. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. And the fact of the matter is, it's good to know that that whatever Mm -hmm. you're going through, it doesn't last a long time. It doesn't last permanently, mm-hmm. isn't that right? That's the right. psalmist in Psalm right. thirty verse five That's said right. that God God God's God's anger mm-hmm. is, is is but for a moment. Come but on. his favor Come is on. for a lifetime. Come Weeping on. may endure for a night, yeah. but joy comes in the morning. <laughs> Thank God for joy. Amen. Everybody ought to be done and done. <laughs> for joy. I'm just gonna set the autopilot. So uh you know we flying on in, Doc. Go ahead, man. Well, we saw the talking points in the subject. Yes sir. I mean, you got two preachers. Mm-hmm. You got two preachers. <laughs> it's like two weeks before Thanksgiving. Three weeks before Thanksgiving. Yes. What is it? Three weeks? Two weeks. The 28th yeah. is what? Um, um, no, two weeks away. Yeah, two weeks. You got two, two, two mm-hmm. and a half, two, less than two mm-hmm. and a half weeks less before the weeks. Thanksgiving yes, Day sir. holiday. Yes, sir. And you got two preachers yes, sir. co-hosting a show about mm-hmm. gratitude and thankfulness. Thank- it was just a matter of time before somebody was going to start hooping. <laughs> Come on, somebody. It was, it was just a matter of well, time. Well, I'll go ahead and hold your mule, bro, because they ain't ready for both of us at the same time. That's all right. So I'll hold your mule, Doc. That's all right, man. That's all right. You, you got it. But, I mean, it's amazing because I like how thankfulness, it doesn't have anything to do with your emotions, hmm. but everything to do with our ability to understand who God is, Come on now. you know, to us. Mm-hmm. And when once we are granted access into the gates, mm-hmm. you know, just the mere gates, hmm. and then we're, then we're granted access into the inner courts. Come on now. The inner courts, man, that's where the king dwells, hmm. you know, yeah. in his inner courts. And you, you begin to see things in the inner courts that's not in the outer gates. Gates. Well, and so, I mean, I want to go up in the inner, inner, you know, in the oh, courts and, I, and experience, <laughs> you know, I want to even experience a Isaiah moment, hmm, you know, well. <laughs> holy, 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 Come you on, know, man. so when we get in the place of being mm-hmm. thankful for mm-hmm. what God has truly done, mm-hmm. I mean, it just, it's, it's a whole nother level, mm-hmm. you know, and so therefore that's when you can sit in the midst of this person talking about you, this person not treating mm-hmm. you right, and it's not, it doesn't have anything to do mm-hmm. with any of those those external circumstances that's going on, mm-hmm. but everything to do with what's in your heart mm-hmm. and about your relationship with God. Mm-hmm. So, man, it's it's uh, mm-hmm. Woo. Mm-hmm. Ah. And I think mm. thankfulness does, you know, help you avoid some temptations. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the enemies the enemies are pretty worthy adversaries. So, mm-hmm. uh, so the, the enemy tries hard to tempt you, but in terms of some temptations, you know, when when you really have an attitude. Of gratitude, um, you have a little bit more power to be able to mm-hmm. not give in to certain forms of temptation, like okay. greed, like greed and hoarding, and that mm-hmm. type of thing. You know, when you learn how to be thankful and grateful, mm-hmm. you know, for what God has provided, you know, it, it, mm. it, 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 you have a little bit more power not to fall into t- into the temptation mm-hmm. to think that you never have enough, that no matter mm. how much you have. It's never enough. Mm. You learn to be thankful and grateful thankful. for what God mm. has done, for mm-hmm. what God has allowed you to have in your possession, for mm. what God has allowed you to have in your care. I think that really empowers you to keep from falling into the temptation mm-hmm. to, um, you know, to, to, to feel like you never have enough or feel like you have to trample o- o- on top of people in order to get more get, mm-hmm, and that type mm-hmm. of thing. There's, there's really something to mm. that attitude of gratitude mm-hmm. e- enabling you to be able to avoid the contentment in your spirit. Times. My contentment God. Contentment mm. and godliness it mm. talks about, I think, in uh, First Timothy mm. uh, chapter 6. It says contentment with godliness mm-hmm. Is, uh, mm-hmm. is, is great gain. So, you know, we do need to learn how to be thankful and we do need to learn how to be grateful. That having been said, yeah. again, it's a little bit off the the specific topic of the show. Uh-huh. But I'm just reminded of it. Uh, it. It just reminds me of how folk mess people up with that quote-unquote prosperity gospel. 
Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when you just focus. <laughs> and, and don't get me wrong. I mean, there's nothing, you know, good. I mean, managing <laughs> managing money, material resources, probably mm-hmm. is a is a good stewardship principle. Uh, that is a part of good Christian stewardship yes. too. Yes. But when you when you start talking about you know acquisition of wealth at the expense of you know everything else, that's mm-hmm. a problem. And people misteach the biblical. A, a, a precept or tenet mm-hmm. of prosperity. Okay. If you study carefully, the Old Testament Hebrew word is shalom. Mm-hmm. Hello, somebody. Mm-hmm. Which which is also translated peace. The New Testament Greek word for prosper is irene, mm-hmm. which which is a part of a derivative of, part, of teach part, elder a couple of syllables <laughs> of the word serenity. So when you when you teach prosperity theologically correctly mm-hmm. from a biblical standpoint. Mm-hmm. Prosperity is not just about economics and materialism. Prosperity is about physical health. Mm -hmm. Prosperity is about mental health. Mm -hmm. Prosperity is about socio-emotional health. Mm -hmm. Prosperity is about spiritual health. Mm -hmm. Prosperity is about peace in your relationships. Biblical biblical prosperity, mm-hmm. when it's taught theologically correctly, yes, is a holistic yes, concept. Yes, it's sir. a holistic precept. Mm-hmm. It's a holistic tenet. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not it's not just one dimensional. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes we make stuff one dimensional. For mm-hmm. that matter, stewardship's mm-hmm. not even one dimensional. You know, stewardship is a holistic concept mm-hmm. and a holistic precept and a holistic biblical tenet as well. Yes, sir. But sometimes we got to have a proper perspective on things and and an attitude an attitude of gratitude is a healthy perspective because mm-hmm. you know again no matter what certain external circumstances may be mm-hmm. still you find something to be thankful for my god because i mean if, if you if you study history and contrary to popular belief i'm not a historian per se but, but still if you look <laughs> just said you can't tell it but no, that's, that's not my strong suit necessarily theology and ethics is more my Mm-hmm. Strong suit, but that had been said. If you, if you look back, for example, the days of the, of the Great Depression, mm-hmm. back in the early part of the 20th century, you know, folk that didn't have nothing to start with, mm-hmm. they weren't the ones jumping out of windows <laughs> and jumping off the top yeah. of buildings and, and, and finding other yeah, ways, right. you know, to take their own lives. Mm-hmm. And I'm not minimizing or trivializing anybody, you know, mm-hmm. who feels, you know, depressed enough to want to take his or her own life. I mm-hmm. mean, every human being on the face of this earth, mm-hmm. myself included, has okay. been depressed at some point or another. Mm-hmm. We've lived long enough. But what I am saying is, you know, when you when 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 you when 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 you have when you when you seemingly have the world mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden you lose everything and you know you you wrapped up in that mm-hmm. that's when you're in a position where it's more and more devastating but when 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 you when you when you know how to be grateful for what for what for what God has done for you even if your resources are meager mm-hmm. you know even if mm-hmm. your material resources are meager you know when you learn to be content uh and, and matter of fact I, we always uh everybody loves Philippians 4:13 I can do all things through mm-hmm. Christ who strengthens me but see you can't put 4:13 in proper context without putting without dun, dealing dun. With verses 11 come and 12 on, come, on, right? come on come on come on I've learned to be content yeah. in whatever state I am whatever I know state. how to abound and I know how to be a base. Mm-hmm. I've learned the secret yes, of sir. having plenty, yes. and I've learned the secret of being yes, in one. Come on. So you got to understand. You got to have. Mm. You got to have the type of praise that that allows yes, you to be content yes, in yes, whatever sir. circumstance mm. you find. You got to learn how to be thankful in yes, whatever sir. circumstance. Yes, then you can put in this proper uh-huh. context, yeah. verse thirteen, where it says, "I dun, can dun. do all things dun, dun. through Christ." Come on, who strengthens? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, now you know. <laughs> Give a preacher a microphone. <laughs> you know, it's man. Hey, man. Hey, that's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And I just to God be the glory. Mm-hmm. To God be the glory. Um, what can we say mm-hmm. with a lot of our young people hmm. who have lost? It seems like that that place of thankfulness has been lost within that generation. Oh wow. Um, yeah, it's complicated. But I mean, I think some 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 really strong you know mentoring mm-hmm. uh, comes comes to mind because you need you know someone to to have a balanced perspective to instill mm-hmm. you know some some of those types of values because uh, you know if if we're not intentional mm-hmm. about instilling certain values, then you have a situation where some of our young people 
you know, grow up with this sense of uh, entitlement. Mm. And really, it, it, it's really a, a concept that mirrors, I mean, I hate to put it on blast in a public forum like this, but, you know, really in terms of, uh, I've spent much of my ministry training ministers and preparing mm. them for ministry. Mm. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of times, you know, we say the Lord's called us, you know, we think we entitled to be licensed to preach right away. We think I, I, I remember entitled. coming through uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 <laughs> the room, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> when you uh, was chairing um, the uh, Minister of Committee. Absolutely. So you know where I'm going. And, so. and that's one of the things that, you know, and that broke a lot of, um, you mm -hmm. know, uh, ministers down. And a lot of times we don't have that, even right. the young ministers coming mm -hmm. through. Exactly. We, you know, we need to be told and instructed that, listen, this you don't have an entitlement. This is not yes. about entitlement. Go that's ahead. What, and that's and that's exactly, um, Dr. Green. That's mm -hmm. exactly why I use that particular paradigm. I mean, none, no human being on the face of this earth mm -hmm. has a right to mm -hmm. have a sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're entitled to be treated by other human beings with decent respect and dignity, just because no one human being is is no better nor any worse than mm -hmm. any other mm -hmm. human being, because mm -hmm. we all belong to the same God. But you know, you you, you, you talk about Psalm 100. Mm -hmm. You know, before we mm. get to that, enter into His gates with thanksgiving. Come on, in this course with praise. Yes, sir. It says, you know, you know, we we are His. You mm -hmm. know, we are the sheep mm -hmm. of His pasture. Of His pasture. You know, that, that Psalm reminds us that we belong to God. Yes, sir. We don't. Yes, sir. We, we belong. We belong to God. You know. Mm -hmm. You know. Not. You know. We don't belong mm -hmm. to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. Not we ourselves. That's right. You know, That's right. We, we we don't belong. Mm -hmm. We don't belong to ourselves. We belong to God. So. The fact of the matter is, mm -hmm. I know it's probably difficult for some people to hear, but truth be told, we're not entitled to anything. Mm -hmm. We're not even entitled mm -hmm. to exist. That's right. That's we right. We only exist That's right. because of God's grace and mercy. His God, grace? God created mm -hmm. male and female mm -hmm. in God's own image. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, That's it. God That's it. formed human beings That's it. from the dust of the earth. You know, we, we don't even have to be here. That's it. God didn't even have to make Ooh. us. God did not have to create us in mm. God's own image. God mm. did not have to form us. Come on, Doc. God did not have to mm. fearfully and wonderfully make us. Yes, the psalmist in Psalm yes, 139 mm. says, fearfully and wonderfully made. We mm. don't have to be fearfully no. and wonderfully made. That no. is the gift ah. of God's grace. Somebody even said, Thanks, mm. thank you for salvation. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we can we can even make idolatry out of our salvation. Mm -hmm. Act like mm. we did it. Mm. You know, in Paul's letter to the Ephesians, Paul mm -hmm. said, by grace you have been saved. It is mm -hmm. not your doing. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. the gift mm -hmm. of God. Sometimes we got to remember that our mere existence, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the fact that we, we talk, so many folk talked about being alive and healthy and, mm -hmm. you know, you can, you can call the roll. In our <coughs> right minds, mm -hmm. able mm -hmm. to see, whether with or without glasses, yes, hear, yes, whether with or without a hearing yes, aid, sir. you know, speak. <laughs> Feel, touch, smell, whatever. Mm -hmm. Walk, mm -hmm. amen. That's Whether it. we walk That's with it. assistance or without assistance, uh -huh. being able to move around, breathe, you mm -hmm. know, with or without oxygen or mm -hmm. some form of assistance. The bottom line is, you know, everything we have is a gift from God. We are not entitled yes. to yeah. anything. No, it is sir. the gift no, of no, God's sir. grace. Ah. Mm. Only by grace. Mm. Only by grace. Uh, thank you for watching and tuning in, Sister Yolanda Fletcher, Sister uh, Gwendolyn uh, Jean Wallace Ag. I know her fairly well. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, baby. That's my wife. Pastor uh, Vanessa Hughes Kennedy, mm -hmm. and again, um, our producers tuned in tonight too, and of course, uh, Sister Wanda Briscoe. Uh, she did say um, said that the best way out is through. Mm. Ah, I like that one, mm -hmm. Sister uh, 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 Briscoe. Thank you for sharing mm -hmm. that. And uh, again, please like mm -hmm. and share. Please like mm -hmm. and share. Uh, one of the things that I was saying, sharing with you about, you know, our children, mm -hmm. and um, I, I kind of went back as we was um, getting this uh, show mm -hmm. together with a few of the points with mm -hmm. the young people. I remembered when my mother bought my shoes. Mm -hmm. Uh, like my tennis shoes, mm -hmm. I would run through them, man, mm -hmm. and I would just, I would dog them, mm -hmm. and then I'd run back again and say, I need some more. Mm. But then when I had to take out the trash, I when I had to uh, mow the lawn and mm -hmm. rake uh, the leaves, and I had to do chores, mm -hmm. and then she allotted me some money. Come on now. And then I had an opportunity to go get my own tennis uh, shoes. Come on now. It, it was only then that uh -huh. I began to be in the in the bathroom, you know, fishing 
head Adidas. You remember, you remember them fish head Adidas run DMC, and you you scrubbing them with a toothbrush mm -hmm. with some little bit of bleach and cleanser, and, and getting them clean and washing out the shoestrings. And and then uh, she pointed out to me. She said, "This is what happens when you earn, yes, sir. and you pay for what mm -hmm. it is that you want. Uh -huh. You work for it." Mm -hmm. So again, I, I tried that with my children, and mm -hmm. and again that entitlement, yep. and they show up. They you mm -hmm. instant gra you got to give it mm -hmm. to them if you don't you don't give it to them mm -hmm. just like the uh, killing over a chicken sandwich oh, excuse me a chicken sandwich oh, because yeah. you couldn't wait a little longer for him to put whatever that substance was in the grease again mm -hmm. and 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 bring it and wrap it and, and charge you mm -hmm. for it mm -hmm. you know I mean, we have a, a society insane. where just mm -hmm. instinct, just mm -hmm. instant, just yeah. entitlement. Right. And, 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 you, and, and you both, uh, both uh, Dr. Green and, and Sister Beverly, our producer, you're all both so right. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, psychologically in terms of marketing, you know, so many, so many times <laughs> folk, you know, folk advertise pleasure. They advertise instant gratification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, psychologically, we all come to like it. And mm -hmm. technology gets mm -hmm. us spoiled mm -hmm. that way, too. Yes. Um, I mean, I haven't, I'm not quite as far into the uh, 21st century as uh, as you are, Dr. Green. I almost <laughs> never use my iPad. And, you know, I don't, I don't have a laptop quite as quite as small as that one. I still got a pretty good size laptop. And I, I, haven't, gra I haven't graduated to the point where I put my sermon outline on my iPad like some yeah. folks. I, I do use my phone for the Bible, but okay. uh, I, I still got to graduate into the 21st century a little more. But but really, technology kind of spoils us a little bit because mm -hmm. all of us, you know, I, I call it the microwave mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, all of us want what mm -hmm. we want in like 30 seconds mm -hmm. or a minute. But, you know, everything, when we want but it, yes. every, everything, mm -hmm. everything doesn't come out the best like mm. that. Mm. Matter of fact, my wife, I'm, my wife's mm. the expert in cooking. I mean, I, I can cook well enough to survive. Go ahead. I can't, go I, I can't go cook ahead, as well as she does. But go I, ahead, I'm going to borrow something, borrow something <laughs> my wife taught me. And that is when you get ready to warm up some leftover fried chicken. Yes, sir. Now, it's not bad when you put it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. But see, the microwave doesn't do it like the oven does. Mm. Now, you can you can put it in the microwave for about 45 <laughs> seconds if it's one piece yes, and maybe a minute and a half, two minutes if it's two or three big yes, pieces. Sir. Yes, sir. You yes, get sir. it hot enough for it to be decent <laughs> but see sometimes you know you might dry it out a little bit too much mm -hmm. more and that mm -hmm. type of thing mm -hmm. but see if you, if, you, if, you, if you put it in the oven you know about 300 mm -hmm. degrees and let it stay in there about 10 to 15 minutes instead of instead of 30 seconds yeah, or 45 yeah, yeah, seconds yeah. or maybe on. two minutes mm -hmm. then when it comes out you know it, it almost tastes like it did when you bought it fresh you know the day before or two days yeah. before so yeah. you know everything everything doesn't come out the best mm -hmm. when when you when you do it when you do it instantly sister beverly saying amen <laughs> right right she conventional said that, she said amen. conventional but you know sometimes some, you. sometimes you sometimes you gotta wait mm -hmm. you know some 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 things don't come mm. out or some things are worth waiting for Come on, somebody. Process. Isn't that right? Something and and and, and, mm. and you're right. Process. Some things just take time. Take time. Um, and just like we were talking about training preachers. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody wants to be on the fast track. Everybody ain't ready to get out there mm -hmm. when they first start <laughs> preaching. Everybody ain't ready to pastor after after they've only been licensed to preach for like two years. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, they sit on the road to Bannister Hill, everybody, four hours away. Well, you know, people don't want to do that no more. People don't want to do that no yeah, more. Yeah. For you're that right, matter, you're people, right. people don't even want to do what I do now. I learned so much through that process. About an hour and forty then. minutes to, um, you know, mm. the front row leaving. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but I, I did the same thing you mm -hmm. did. I mm -hmm. went to St. Paul was two hundred sixty three and a half miles from home one way. Mm -hmm. Williams mm -hmm. Temple was two hundred sixty nine mm -hmm. miles one way. Yeah. But now you know, folk, folk don't want to do that now. What's my I'm, package, man? What's what's my package? Yeah, and, you're, and, you're, <laughs> and, you're, and you ain't never passed nothing. You got no experience. <laughs> May or may not have mm. been the seminary, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. but again, this sense of what mm -hmm. entitlement, mm -hmm. you know, instant gratification, mm -hmm. want everything right away. But, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. God called me. Well, God <laughs> called everybody else too, but the fact of the matter, everybody ain't go out there right away. <laughs> the twelve didn't go out there right away. Mm -mm. Jesus, Jesus mm -mm. prepped them. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. <laughs> they didn't even know how to cast Hello, out somebody. the demons because they they went they they whipped the demons, whipped them, and then he said, "Okay, this is what I want you to do. Sit down. Certain things come but by fasting and praying." Well, so we had to sit them down, retrain mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. But bottom line is, you know, you got to instill, you know, certain values. You know, you got to go beyond that entitlement. And mm -hmm. I think the lesson you learned, you know, I, I, I was right there with you when you were talking about that. Because you know, when you start providing these things for yourself, mm -hmm. it says somebody, mm -hmm. give me, give me, give me, give me, give mm -hmm. me. You know, and I, I noticed one of your books you had there was like Naeem Akbar, Visions for Black Men. And, and in that book... <laughs> 
uh, uh, Naeem Akbar made a distinction between a male, a boy, mm -hmm. and a man. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, ladies, forgive me. I do believe in gender-inclusive language and that type of thing, but I'm, I am using a book that was written about black men, you know, as, as a paradigm. But just in terms of the illustration that he, uh, basically, basically when you, when you, when you, when you, when you a male, or for that matter, if you're female, for late, you know, for, for ladies, female, when you when you just a man, basically you just your gender with its most primitive instincts. Mm -hmm. So basically, you just give me, give me, give me, just like a little mm -hmm. baby. You know, mm -hmm. I want my bottle when I want it. Yes. I want my food when I want it. I yeah. want to be changed when mm -hmm. I want it, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna cry and holler until I get it, mm -hmm. and, and out of necessity. I mean, when I mean that's that's the lowest level of maturity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, to be a male. Then when you're a boy, you know, you, you're a little past infancy stage, yes. but basically you're mm -hmm. still immature. Mm -hmm. You know, you still, you know, you still, mm -hmm. you still, you know, you want everything, that type of thing. But see, when you mature to the point of being a man, mm -hmm. or in females' case, we mature to the point of being a woman, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes your yeah, maturity is, is a great teacher. Mm -hmm. And and, and not, not, maturity is not always uh, equivalent. To biological age, because mm -hmm. I mean, I know some, I know some folk in their early twenties who are wise beyond their years, mm -hmm. and I know some folk <laughs> like I am who are almost sixty and have grown yet. Hello, somebody. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, you know. But but the bottom line is, in terms of you know mm -hmm. instilling instilling certain values, and you know when you when you real when you have to put effort into something, mm -hmm. or when you have to invest your own resources yes. in, in something. Yes. I mean, now that I'm an old head, as mm -hmm. some folk would say. Um, I mean, you learn how to appreciate some mm -hmm. things more mm -hmm. when you have to invest yes, sir. your own resources, yes, sir. be it your material mm -hmm. resources mm -hmm. or be it your physical resource, your labor. Mm -hmm. When you have to invest your material resources and or yourself into something, you learn how to appreciate it mm -hmm. more than if it's just given to you mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you don't have to do anything to earn it. I, I definitely agree. I'm, I'm on board with you on, um, you know, it's just uh, if you have a ministry, God is giving you a ministry. Mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer in mm -hmm. if you're not sowing into your own ministry, hmm. how can you expect someone else to sow into your ministry? Mm -hmm. That's one of the first things I learned from the uh, late uh, presiding elder Seaburn Isom um, when he was pastor. And he said, when I was pastor, I never asked my members to do what I was not willing to do. That's mm -hmm. something I practiced for um, 32 years myself. Mm -hmm. I never asked. I never ask anybody in any church that I pastor. I never ask anybody on either one of my mm. two presiding elders districts. I will never ask any of you to do anything that I'm not willing to do myself. Um, Amen. And 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 that's that's a part of expre expressing gratitude. I mean, yes. I don't, don't want to mm. get you know too far into the theology of worship, but uh, you know one of the ways that you demonstrate gratitude, mm. you know, sometimes you got to show gratitude without just verbalizing it. You know, sometimes folk need to see that you're grateful. You know, sometimes you know, sometimes folk want some some tangible expressions. Go ahead, I mean, go ahead. Be a tangible expression. Go ahead, in terms elder. Of giving resources, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. more tangible expressions mm -hmm. in terms of your labor mm -hmm. and your action. Yes. I mean, sometimes sometimes folk need to see how much you appreciate that's right. them. That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. That's right. That's uh, that's some good stuff there. That's mm -hmm. some good stuff. Hey, I just wanted to um, mention some of the. Um, Benefits of um, gratitude uh, mm -hmm. from the Good Science Center. Um, increased happiness mm -hmm. and positive mood. Mm -hmm. uh, more satisfaction with life. Mm -hmm. Less materialistic. Mm -hmm. yes, less sir. likely to experience burnout. Mm -hmm. Better physical health. Yes, Lord. Better sleep. Mm -hmm. Less fatigue. Mm -hmm. Lower levels of cellular inflammation. Mm. Wow. Greater resiliency. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Comeback strength mm -hmm. encourages the development of patience, humility, and wisdom. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned uh, before, um, for groups, increase mm -hmm. prosocial behaviors, Absolutely. strengthens relationships, mm -hmm. may help employees' effectiveness, yes, and may increase job satisfaction. Absolutely. All because you just plain old grateful. Absolutely. And, and and having said that, it reminds you, uh, reminds me rather, of a book that I actually used for officers training in a couple of different uh, churches that I pastored, and I actually used it when the uh, Regional Missionary Society mm -hmm. asked me to do a workshop on servant leadership for um, uh, leadership training school mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago or so. Uh, I believe the author's last name is Hunter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, uh, it, the, the title of the book is The World's Greatest Leadership Principle. 
Uh -huh. And his inspiration for that book was he went to a wedding. And the scripture uh, in, in, in the wedding service was uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And he listened to verses of 4 through 8. You know, uh -huh. it's those verses when it starts saying love is patient, uh -huh. love uh -huh. is kind, you know, love is not puffed up, love is not rude or arrogant, love does not insist on its own way, love believes all things, hopes all things, endures yes, sir. all things, yes, etc., et etc. Et you know, he listened to that part of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8, and he looked at that and he said, you know what, this... This is how this is how you most effectively lead people. Mm -hmm. So as opposed mm -hmm. to you know as as Jesus said in the um, in in the Synoptic Gospels, you know that the, the Gentiles want to lord their authority over folk. Not mm -hmm. so among mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. You know the one who's greatest among you must be your servant. So the bottom line is, and this guy was you know he was a Christian, he was a minister, but he was also a consultant. You know he did workshops for for a number of corporations, including some of their high level CEOs. Okay, and there were a number of companies. That he um, that he highlighted in there. I believe that Southwest Airlines and FedEx might have been a couple of the, the companies. But basically, in terms of you know not only serving customers, but mm -hmm. in terms of expressing gratitude mm. to the employees. As a matter of fact, um, now the giant food chain is owned by the same uh, uh, company that owns Stop and Shop up in the Northeast. But back in the day, I was a manager and manager training program for Giant Food, mm -hmm. and uh, the son of the founder was the CEO. Um, we called him Izzy. His name was Israel Cohen. His father, N.M. Cohen, founded the company. And one of the things about working for Giant was, you know, they had tremendously high customer service standards. I mean, it was easy to get fired, mm -hmm. you know, when you work for Giant. I mean, if you were like more than $2 over a short, like three consecutive times, <laughs> you, you, you can't, you're mm -hmm. gone. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it was easy to get fired. Mm -hmm. But the flip side of that is they paid us well. Mm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. And they treated us well. <laughs> yes, sir. They treated us like we had value. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, even though even the, even the CEO, we called the CEO by his first name. Mm -hmm. now, there wasn't no question about who the boss was. Mm -hmm. But you know, whether you're the general manager, whether you're the district manager, whether you're the CEO, whether you're senior vice president of operations, we called everybody by their first name. Mm. But the bottom line is, they made not only did they have tremendously high performance standards that they evaluated you by, mm -hmm. but they made you feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. And you can get much mm -hmm. more out of folk when mm -hmm. they feel appreciated mm -hmm. than if they don't feel appreciated. I, I hope I've, I've done it during my brief ten years of presiding elder, but I try to make a practice, you know, with, not only with my pastors but with folk who volunteer for me. Cause mm. you know, CME Church presiding elders don't have much of a budget, you know, so we, I can't, I really can't pay yes, folk sir. for what mm. I need folk to do. Mm -hmm. But when folk do stuff for me, I try to be intentional mm -hmm. about telling folk thank you, mm -hmm. I appreciate mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple thing. Yes, sir. You know, it might sound overly simplistic, and sometimes I, I have a tendency to do that. Mm -hmm. But by the same token, it's amazing. You know, how many people, you know, labor tirelessly, mm -hmm. tirelessly rather, and nobody shows them any appreciation. Mm -hmm. Nobody gives them a simple thank you. Mm -hmm. Nobody gives mm -hmm. them a simple I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. amazing what you can get from folk if, mm -hmm. you, if you treat them with love and dignity and respect and just show some appreciation. Some appreciation. Just show some gratitude. Mm. Just show some thankfulness. It's amazing what you can motivate folk to do with a little show of gratitude and appreciation. Has the <clears throat> has Giant changed hands? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't remember and, when, long, long ago. And as a result, did they continue on the practice of the appreciation and the gratitude for its employees? I can't speak to that, um, you know, because I've been, you know, I was gone from this area for like 23 years. I mean, I do still shop mm -hmm. there among other places. Um, so I really, I really don't know. I'd have to talk to some folk, mm -hmm. you know, who've worked there more recently. It's been like 35, what year is this, 2019? Mm -hmm. It's been 32 years. Yeah, I went to seminary. That's when I quit. So I, I have not worked for John for 32 years. So okay. I'm, I'm going on three decades ago. But, uh, you know, somebody, somebody who works for him now would have to answer that question. But the bottom line is, you know, there's some in the corporate arena who have discovered uh -huh. that uh, you know that works in the corporate arena uh -huh. too. You don't have to you uh -huh. know have the bully pulpit. You don't have to put the stranglehold on folk. You don't have to coerce folk into uh -huh. doing. Uh -huh. If you if you show folks some appreciation uh -huh. and some genuine kindness and, uh -huh. and you show them some love, you know you can get folk. Yeah. You know you can get folk to perform 
for you mm -hmm. and when folk are motivated I mean, and that's really and yeah. I'm sure anybody who's done the um, the study the analysis on it will tell you that's a great way to wow. reduce turnover mm -hmm. I mean you have a lot less turnover mm -hmm. and a lot more stability mm -hmm. when you show employees appreciation because folk don't appreciate it you know, be like bump this you know i'll, I'll go where i yeah. can i'll go where yeah. i can get you know get something better than this yeah you know, i ain't gonna absolutely. stay here and take this mess <laughs> absolutely okay <clears throat> elder absolutely one minute wrap up what you got for me with thankfulness the old school songwriter said i have so much mm. so much to thank god thank god for he made a way for me he gave me victory mm. he opened doors for mm. me that i'm not able to see so yes. much to thank God for, thank God for an attitude of gratitude. Amen. That'll take you so far. Mm -hmm. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for tuning in um, tonight. And we also thank you for your, your uh, comments and um, just your statements alone. It definitely uh, encouraged as well as inspired uh, the conversation or the dialogue. But uh, when peace like a river hmm. attendeth oh, my way, you. when sorrows like Steve sea Miller's billows roll. roll. Yes, sir. Whatever mm -hmm. my lot, yes, sir. Thou has taught me to say, yes, sir. It is well. 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 Yes, sir. With my soul. Amen. Our time is up. We definitely thank you for yours. Thank you. And remember, you guys could catch uh, this show on My Brother's Keeper YouTube channel. Please go over there and subscribe. Definitely would appreciate it. So, when good men stand together, we become greater. We are our brother's keeper. Yes, we are. And see you on the other side of greatness. God bless you. See you next week. God bless you. We're grateful for you. I got to let them know. Tuesday, 7 p.m., got to let them know. Three M's, mint and model, got to multiply. God gets all the glory, hands in the sky. My brother's keeper show. I got to let them know. Tuesday, 7 p.m., got to let them know.